Hello, hello, and this is Notary Life with Kimmy. Today's topic is to sticky or not sticky, to use those labels or not to label your um, loan packages, okay? So, I've been in the forums, I've watched videos, and people say don't do it. Some people say do do it. The majority, I think, lean to not doing it because they can get through a package faster. I get that. But for myself, I like to prepare my documents. I like to become one with the document. I like to know that package inside and out. And when I'm at the signing table, I'm like boom, 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 boom. And I can I know where every signature line is, I know where every date is, and they're not missing nothing on my watch. <laughs> okay, so these do help, especially if you have two signers and it's something kind of crazy, a document you haven't seen before, you may want to use this. You don't want to miss documents. You don't want to miss signatures. You don't want to miss initials. Okay, so sometimes um, all of my packages are different. I'm sure it's the same for you. I may have one package where every part of the mortgage has to be initialed. Sometimes it's two people, and each person has to put their sets of initials on that set of documents. In that case, um, you want to make sure that you put a little sticky there just to remind yourself, hey, this is something that's not normal. You need some, a visual because if you're like me, you get in there chatty catty with the signers and then you miss something. So like I said, personally, I still use my stickies um, and you don't use them in general notary work. So it's good to train your eye for signature lines and just train your eye for initial lines. Um, but again, sometimes we're going and we have so much going on, we just forget. So in my opinion, to sticky or not to sticky, it's up to you. I sticky. <laughs> And again, um, whatever you choose to do, just do it well. Um, again, you always want to be looking for signature lines, initials, and dates. So if you don't miss any of those, you should have a flawless package. If they need a copy of the ID also, um, you may want to make sure you put a sticky somewhere to write yourself a note, a little notepad of the essentials for that particular signing. Like this one might need a, a ID. This one might need a copy of that. Um, Especially with initial disclosure, initial disclosure, sometimes they need a, it's a list of things that they need. So you want to make sure that you have that readily available so you can check it off. Make sure you have it. You don't miss anything for a package. So doing all these little tips like this, sometimes it is a little time consuming, but a flawless package will get you another flawless package to complete for another signing company. Okay. So good business will get you good business. Okay. If you're doing bad work, you won't work. All right, well, this is Notary Life with Kimmy. Just keeping it real. My pleasure.